was Ronald Reagan particularly religious? And, no. and was he an evangelical? You know, he was asked uh, at some point whether or not he was born again, which, of course, as you know, is kind of the, uh, the, the ticket word. It's like your card, right? <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And uh, and somebody had to explain what that meant to him. And at the end of that exchange, mm -hmm. he said, well, yeah, I suppose I qualify. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. And as you know, those of us who are born again, I mean, there's not a whole lot of... Mm -hmm. That that was a two Corinthian moment, right? I right, <laughs> two Corinthian, right? There's not a lot of ambivalence about that. Right, yeah. right, right. You you know, and and, and Reagan, of course, rarely attended church. And so, I mean, that's you know, mm -hmm. I well, understand that a lot of politicians are like that. But whereas Jimmy Carter, even while he was president of, of the United States, taught Sunday school in, in the Washington Baptist Church, I believe, 11 times, maybe 14 times during his wow. presidency. <laughs> Amazing. More about Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Why did he become the darling of the conservative movement? Talk to me a little bit about what you know and you talk about in your book, about well, what his history was prior yeah, to becoming well, the president. Yeah, and, and this is what I think is disturbing because a lot of people regard Reagan as almost a messianic figure. And uh, what became clear to me as I was writing Bad Faith is that there's a there's a there's a history there that needs to be articulated. Uh, Ronald Reagan got his start in politics in California in opposition to the Rumford Fair Housing Act, which sought to ensure people of color equal access to both rental housing and purchase of, of property. He was uh, an outspoken opponent of both the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. Throughout his political campaigns, he frequently invoked the dog whistle of law and order. He also invoked what he called welfare queens. These are mm -hmm. women of color who uh, ostensibly live lives of luxury off the public dole. He was never able to produce one of these welfare queens, but he was sure they were they existed. Yeah. And as president, he decimated the Civil Rights Commission. Uh, he also was a stalwart supporter of the apartheid re regime in South Africa, even as that regime was crumbling beneath its own weight. And for me, the clinching moment occurred on August 3rd, 1980. And this was uh, the start of the general election campaign for the presidency. That is, Reagan had just won the Republican nomination for president. He, he chooses to inaugurate his general election campaign for the presidency in, of all places, and I still can't quite believe he did this, in all, of all places, the Neshoba County Fair in Philadelphia, Mississippi, the place where, as you know, 16 summers earlier, the local Ku Klux Klan in collusion with the local sheriff's department abducted, tortured, and murdered three civil rights workers during Freedom Summer. And Reagan was the master of symbolism, but lest anyone miss his purpose, at that moment, before a wall white audience at the Neshoba County Fair, he invoked the age old segregationist George Wallace battle cry, I believe in states' rights.